Take a note someplace, wherever your devotional material is, someplace where you'll remember to pray for that individual. And let's see what God will do in one year. Uh, the harvest is ready. It's white. We need to be faithful. Thank you for that reminder tonight. God led me at work today uh, with some final changes. We still have the microphones out. Do you guys still have those? Would you turn those, those back over there? If we could get a microphone to Pastor John Charles, right over here, and then Pastor Jerry Padgett, he's right over here. I want to close our time together tonight with just a time of prayer. These men God has used in the ministry here. Brother Padgett ran the bus ministry. He also ran the printing machine that the church had. Did you know we had a printing ministry at, at one time? And then also a dark room for processing photos for the church. He did all that, and then he was the administrative assistant for a while for our Forces Baptist Mission. During that time, Mrs. Padgett, Pauline was Pastor Cole's uh, church secretary here, did that for 12 years. And then God called them over to Emmaus Road Baptist Church, uh, where Brother Jerry faithfully served for 17 years until uh, he retired. He's going to open our time in prayer, and then Pastor Charles was reached through the youth ministry here at Good News. God called him to preach as he attended Atlanta Baptist, I'm sorry, Atlantic Baptist Bible College, uh, where Pastor Coles was teaching at the time. One of his classmates was Pastor Marvin Tobin. Maybe you've heard of him. <laughs> After he and Dawn were married, God called them to Roanoke Island Baptist Church, Manio Island, or on the island in North Carolina, he was interim pastor at two other churches, and then God led them to Central Baptist Church in Yorktown, where he is the pastor now. I just thank the Lord for these men, for their part in the history here at Good News. God continues to use them, their wonderful families. So, Brother Jerry, if you'd stand and just ask God, even uh, to burn into our hearts tonight what we've been challenged with from God's word and pray for God's protection continued blessing on this ministry and then brother John if you would follow up please Lord as we come before you tonight in closing prayer we would ask that you would continue to pour out your blessings upon your news of that Mr. Church Amen mm -hmm. The impact that this church has had over the years is not because of their talented leadership. It's because of their willingness to submit to a holy God. To follow fervently the teaching, the preaching, instruction found in God's Word. Lord, may this work here that you've begun 50 years ago continue on reaching others, training others, encouraging others, building the family of God. Now we would ask, please, pour out upon Brother Ashley and the staff of this church your godly wisdom. Lord, help them to stay pure Amen. in their personal lives. Lord, may when they meet, may the, they meet with the Holy Spirit of God May their prayers be filled with tears and concern and love. 
not just for the love of God and a love for God, but a love that makes itself clear to the hearer. Lord, use this church like never before. Yes. I just pray this. No, I'm eager at God who delights to give us the desire of our hearts. Amen. That you would continue to provide an answer to their prayer needs. Strengthen them. Keep them. And we would give you all the praise, the honor, the glory. In Christ's name I pray. Our Heavenly Father, we're so glad we can come before your throne, the throne of grace and mercy. And Lord, we thank you for the grace and the mercy you've poured upon this place for 50 years. And how this gospel has gone forth and reached this community and beyond and to the ends of the earth. We thank you and praise you for your goodness. And thank you how folks have stood and declared your mighty works and what you've done. And Lord, I pray, thank you for in my own life, how you reached me through with your gospel through this place. Amen. And I pray, dear Father, that you would bless in the days ahead. Thank you for the message tonight that Brother Comfort has shared with us from your word. Lord, I pray that the days ahead will be days of answering your prayer requests, Lord Jesus, that you said to pray that you would send forth laborers into the harvest field. God, I pray that you would do that with each and every Christian here and with this dear church, and that more souls will be saved and that, God, that you will be, get the glory through it all, and more will be discipled, and more will be sent out, we pray, by the Holy yes. Spirit calling forth laborers under the harvest. Yes. Earth. And we'll look to you to do it, Lord. This is your will, your heart, and we'd like to enter into that. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our evening has gone quickly. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Everyone who helped to prepare. We do have some folks visiting with us tonight. Uh, and we are so grateful uh, to have you uh, with us as well. Look around, uh, fellowship, and uh, meet those that you may not recognize this evening. Remember the 50th anniversary offering the ushers are receiving at the door as you leave. Also remember the homecoming service tomorrow morning. That's at 10 o'clock. Uh, we invite you back for that. Several remodeling projects have been completed in our facilities. If you haven't been through our buildings recently, maybe you're visiting from out of town or you're from another church you had in the past contact, or you are a member here, uh, our deacons are throughout the facilities to answer questions, meet you, uh, but our education wing, the bookstore, the foyer, there have been re improvements all over. Go take a look especially if you can't be here uh, tomorrow. God's given us a wonderful evening again. Amen. And we want to praise His name. We had a second song to sing, but the, the time has gotten away from us. We used the time for testimonies. I want to just encourage you to have a safe trip uh, on your way home tonight. Um, we have leftover cake. Leftover cake. All right. If you need a snack for the trip home, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big <laughs> out. <laughs>